Today we're going to walk the bases here and kind of talk about uh, what the coronavirus pandemic has done for you as a student athlete. And when you think about it, when you heard the news, no more spring sports, how did you initially process that? Well, last week, last Thursday, it was after our Wednesday game, we were supposed to have a early workout and then we were supposed to have practice. And all of a sudden, coach sent out a message and he was like, we've got a team meeting at 1.30. Coach started talking about, you know, sports are basically done, we're not gonna be practicing, and everything's canceled. And as soon as he said that we weren't having practice anymore, that's when I kinda lost it. Um, and it became very real for me that I was not gonna be able to come out here anymore. Uh, I knew this was gonna happen. Um, I've been playing this game since I was five. It was definitely a very raw moment, and I'm still kind of processing it. Probably 40 hours a week we do sports, so it's really like a job when you think about it. And my whole goal for this last semester of college was just to have fun and to enjoy every second that I had on this field. How do you process those emotions? How do you work through that knowing that it's all gone? Keeping yourself mentally busy is probably the best way to transition, because otherwise, if I was just at home, you know, just having to do a little bit of homework here and there, I think I would honestly be very sad. Spring athletes such as yourself, could take another year of eligibility. Is that something you'd consider? They don't have a nursing program here, so I really came here for the sport and then applied to an accelerated BSN program. I don't think I'm gonna be able to manage a sport and try to become a nurse at the same time. As we make this stretch, tell me what was your most favorite memory here as a Guilford Quaker? Just my teammates, the bus rides, the laughs, um, coach, I'll miss coach, and just everything that comes along with being so close to your friends.